second bout of the day here at cage three. Here we have Kazakhstan's Norjamal Stadikova entering the cage. And India have done quite well this year. Compared to previous years, it really speaks to the growth of MMA in the popular nation. Oh, that was a little bit of poor sportsmanship there from the Indian. Fake to glove touch. Oh, that was a nice overhand right from Sadikova. So the winner here will face Ireland's Nadine Abbott Bissett for the gold. Jocking for position here against the cage. And the Indian corner really calling for knees here up against the cage. It's not a bad idea. Even just knees to the thighs. It'll soften up your opponent quite a bit. And there's hardly anything that's going to be fight ending, but it can add just a little 1% advantage to your game overall if you've got a little bit more pop in your step than your opponent. Okay, they separate. I suspect the wheels, yeah, I was just about to say it. I suspect we'll see another overhand from a Kazakhstani fighter. So the shot there was kind of telegraphed, but she, but Kumari still has managed to get underhooks. So let's see if that will translate to a takedown, but we now see Sadikova gets one underhook, so we're over under. Some good old, old school foot stomps, and it's actually Sadikova got her opponent to the ground there. Oh, nice takedown there. Oh, went to full mount. Great way for Sadikova to turn things around. Those are some solid shots there. Some of them are hitting the arm, but some are getting through as well. But this is good defense here from Kumari. Standing up, trying to shake her opponent off like it was a Taylor Swift song. But look at this. We're going to get an armbar attempt in the final 10 seconds. I don't think there's going to be enough time to secure it, though. And that is proper defense there from India's Riti Kumari. Great first veteran and beloved MMA journalist, Mr. Simon Head. That was a really tough round to score early on. A lot of clinch work up against the cage seven. I was beginning to wonder what the judges were gonna actually try and score in that first round. But then right at the very end, we saw some offense from Sadikova. And after all that clinch, but she finally gets the fight to the, the ground and very nearly gets the armbar submission. Another 30 seconds left in that round. We may well be crowning a winner right now. We had all the aggression early on. A bit cheeky at the start. Fake the glove touch, then the body kick. But we didn't really see too much aggression after that. A lot of, a lot of work up against the clinch. Need it in the open in the second round. Certainly, Sadikova will want it in the open in the second round. But if she can get it to the mat, that seems to be where she's got the advantage. Let's see how it goes in the second round. Apt analysis as always from Mr. Simon Head. Here we have Madeleine Fogelin, the Pearl of South Sweden, in charge of the action. Uh, yes, I do suspect Sadikova will try to take the 
fight to the ground after having all that success previously, like Mr. Head alluded to there. Oh, that was a nice straight right there from Sadikova. And that jab is getting through. There's an overhand. You know, for as successful as Sadikova was on the ground, she's definitely doing quite well on the feet here as well. Just a little bit sharper with her striking. Spinning attack misses there, but she might have abandoned it mid-spin. Another nice overhand. Sarikova connects with a left and gives her opponent a little smile as well. There's an overhand. Kick fair just kind of grazes and there is the clinch. And again, we see a nice trip there and once more straight into mount. Be careful what you wish for. See here, Sadikova trying to go. Oh, but that was what I was alluded to in the previous bout. If you don't have your position locked down, your opponent might turn and end up on top. So it was a great start of round two for Sadikova, but now we see Viridi Kumar on top. Here's that armbar attempt. But as you can see, Kumari, she had her head up against the fence, which pretty much just blocked the legs of the young Kazakhstani fighter. But I think we're, she's going for it again, it looks like. Yeah, there it is. Can she get it? Oh, that looks, it might be a little bit low. Yeah. Here is a, another armbar attempt. And if nothing else, even if she's not necessarily getting the best arm bars in the world, it is at least stopping the offense of Kumari. Even though she's on top, she hasn't really managed to score a whole lot of offense. Here are some strikes, but it is a defensive grappling here, but really is Stopping the offense for the Union fighter. All right, there we have it. Another great round in the books. And speaking of greats, let's hear from Mr. Simon Head once again with the analysis or round number two. Much better round there for Nurzamil Sadakova. You can tell that the corner said to her between rounds after that first round, keep the space, work the space, strike from distance, and it worked a treat. And then when eventually the fight, even when the fight went to the mat, working off her back, she was the aggressor at all times. Even though she was on her back, normally seemed to be sort of the, uh, the inferior position. She was the one threatening with the offense, going for the arm bar. She may well be two rounds up here, given on the effectiveness of the offense. It's going to need to be a big third round from uh, Tomego Zunis if she's going to pull this one out and get herself a bronze medal. Absolutely. So far, it's looking like Nurjamal Sadikova will get a medal for her home nation if things continue as we have so far. Say most likely it is 2 0 to Kazakhstan so far. So that means that India's Riri Kumar has got to make something big happen. And fighting at a distance hasn't really been working out so well for her so far. Nice jab, snaps the head back of her opponent. And see, that was a telegraph takedown attempt that Stadikova easily recognized. Recognized. Another, yeah, easily thwarted. Oh, Oh, and right into Mount. Oh, 
Okay, defense holding up so far for Kumari. Working her way back up. And it's kind of been in the clinch where Kumari has been most successful. She's probably going to be wired of the chest, but oh, look at that. Once again, Sadukova gets it, but look at this. Kumari gets for reversal, is now on top inside, or sorry, in half guard. And you can see here she wants to pass, but Sarikova recognizes as, that as well, trying to isolate the right leg. Oh, that's nice work there from Sarikova. Getting back up from a disadvantageous position, but wow. Standing back mount there for Kumari, but she's a bit too high. She's gonna slide off. Apparently not. Uh, what a upset it would be if Kumari manages to pull off a victory here in the third round. After being handled the way she was in the second. That really speaks to her heart. Oh, a jockey for position here. Sadi Kova could end up on top. But no, Kumari retains the top position. Just back and forth grappling action here. Oh. It looked like Kumari was perhaps going for a submission from the bottom. Sadikova recognized that danger though. Final 10 seconds. Who has what it takes to advance to the finals? Oh, nice back take there. But not enough time to work. Both fighters happy with their performances, but obviously only one can advance to the finals. Mr. Simon Head, what's your take on the fight overall? And if you're a judge, who are you giving this to? We needed to see a big round out of Vidri Kumari. And we got one, but I think the judges are probably going to go with the blue corner. I think the Kazakhstani athlete, Sadikova, did just enough through those three rounds, certainly the first two rounds, to get the job done. Best, tightest round of the fight was certainly the last one. We'll see how the, uh, see how the judges have scored it. My scorecard, of course, very unofficial. We'll soon have the official results from Mr. DNM here in the building. Let's hear it. Okay. I'm a little bit surprised at that, but I guess. India's Riri Kumari will be advancing to the finals to face Ireland's Nadine Abbott Bisset. It's definitely a strong third round for Kumari.